And every time you talk to Kevin Smith, like, what would you do? What would you do? He's always like, I don't really fucking care. I don't know about that shit. I don't, I'm not a big blockbuster kind of guy. It's like, that's, that's just heartbreaking. You know, you're not a real anything, any guy. I mean, you'll go do Degrassi to go eat shit, but you won't go fucking do something with DC. You love comic books. Everything that he t even, I mean, in Clerks too, there's a scene where they talk shit about Lord of the Rings, and it's like Lord of the Rings is amazing. Peter Jackson went from brain dead to fucking Lord of the Rings He's in The Hobbit, high frame rate. That's the future, not your bullshit podcasting, you know, video on demand movies and people. That's the kind of shit where they have a movie called John Dies at the End Now. And they're bitching because they, they put it out for video on demand and everybody's going to steal it because they don't even know who the filmmakers are. They don't care about the movie and people are just downloading it for free, kind of like they did uh, Louis C.K.'s uh, stand-up, but at least he made a million dollars off of it when he put his, his stand-up for free. And uh, yeah, you can make money, but you're, you're always going to be able to make the, the Avengers type money if you just go with what the corporations are doing. I'm not saying I don't pirate or I haven't pirated or that... That's not what people want is to be able to just click uh, their, their, you know, their television, go in and click a button and watch the movie. And, and they're watching it at, from the comfort, you know, the comfort of their own home. But high frame rate was amazing. I saw The Hobbit in high frame rate. I thought, wow, this is like seeing Blu-ray on TV and an IMAX. And it, it was like, I know you could probably see it at home if you have the best setup. But seeing it in a theater was great. I was like, wow, it was a little hard to get used to. But I was like, thank God we have people like Christopher Nolan or Brian Singer or, or, or James Cameron or, or Peter Jackson trying to push forward theater going still and not sitting on their ass podcasting Dark Knight Rises stuff all day. You know, I mean, I, I, why, why do I care so much about Kevin Smith? Because he's what... We all want it to happen to us where we get our HD cameras and we make a little paranormal activity or something that costs us under, you know, maybe 50 grand or what we would spend at a film school. And then, the, you know, the studios see it and they put millions behind it and then it, it goes and, it, it, and in an opening week it maybe gets like a $10 million or something. And, it, and you, you become a filmmaker based on that, based on, you know, you, you finally got in, you got in. And I feel like today, I feel like if Kevin Smith started today and he was the 24-year-old he was and he was working at the Quick Stop, he would just be sitting in front of an HD camera like me just talking. And that'd be as far as he could go. Uh, it feels like he, the clerks wouldn't work today. And it, and it just feels like I'm the type of person, here's, here's what I, I, who am I? Who the fuck am I? Who am I to talk to Kevin Smith? I mean, you know, well, I'm, I'm an aspiring film, an aspiring filmmaker. My name is Renel Martinez. I'm, I'm nobody right now. I don't give a shit. But here's what I've been able to accomplish really since 2006 and now. There was a website called Film Tracker. And for free, I basically went on and I typed in. It was the Google of Hollywood. I had Brian Singer's information, everybody's information. And you typed it in and it had their phone numbers. Now, the reason I never called, I, I, you can see a video of me on my YouTube calling because I wanted to get a Superman movie made. And at the time, the story was a sequel to Superman Returns, and it involved Mr. Mixius Pitlick. And, I, you know, it was I was inspired by Kevin Smith. It was done like a comedy. Uh, it was a serious, but it was, it was, you know, as comedic, and it opened up the world to Darkseid and other characters because of the imps. But uh, I, I called Brian Singer's company, and, and you can see the video. It amounted to nothing. I mean, but that's how far I've come in my generation now we can call these people up and go, guess what? I have a pitch for you, Kevin Smith, for your next movie, or I have a whatever. I mean, we can call these people up now. Their information is just a smarter way. You just got to be smart enough to get the information. I won't post the information because I know these people are working and they don't want everybody in the world calling them. I called Johnny Depp. I wanted him to be involved in my uh, Superman movie back in, and this was back in 2007. And I had Christopher Nolan's information. I had a, a, a Dark Knight sequel for when he didn't have Dark Knight Rises. And I was trying to pitch all this stuff. Now, this all went nowhere. And I'm still here blogging and bullshitting. But it just makes me pissed off that people like Kevin Smith are sitting where they are. And they, all they have to do is just pick up a fucking phone and be like, I'm Kevin Smith. Talk to me. What can we do with this property? Do something, man. I mean, it's just it's disrespectful to people like me who we can't call because they're like, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Why are you wasting my time? Why are you calling me? 
You have never done a movie. You've never done anything. I'm not going to give you a chance. And I, I, I'm the type of person that I, I, I even tweet a lot. And I would tweet things to Kevin Smith, and he just blocked me. He didn't even want to engage in a discussion about like himself, really. It's like he it seems like he wants to talk all, about his life all the time and be like, you know. And I feel like he's the type of guy that right now he'd be like. Oh, I was talking to Ben Affleck the other day about, like, how he fucks his wife. And uh, I told him how I fuck mine. And, and you're like, that's the kind of stuff that, that's juvenile, man. Like, do I don't need to know how Ben Affleck and his wife have sex or that whether I should or you should, like, you should know better. And it's just stupid that, you, that that's what you're becoming is like a 40, 50-year-old version of a guy who's talking crap. I'm 26, and I want to talk about Justice League and business and he's, I don't know how the fuck old he is right now. He's obviously past 40, right? So this is a guy who just wants to sit and eat shit. And it's like, what the fuck, man? I mean, even comic book men on AMC, I mean, I, for the best he could have done, he probably could have just turned comic book men into a clerks because that's a show that comes on right after The Walking Dead. And you look at it and it's like, Holy shit, man, this sucks. It's like they're all talking. Oh, what do you think you'd do about the zombie apocalypse? It's like, make a show. You're on AMC, Breaking Bad, and all these shows. Show me something. You you have access to these things, and you don't do shit with it, and it's getting annoying. And I don't feel this way about other filmmakers I love, like Darren Aronofsky, who wanted to make The Wolverine, but because of his family, didn't you know do that. But I look at Kevin Smith and I'm like, I could not, that's such a bullshit cop out reason, no pun intended cop out, that he would be like, oh, I just want to stay at home with my family all the time. I want to stay at home with my family all the time. I don't want to do a big movie. Dude, make one big movie. Put yourself out there and make that big. It's a $175 million budget. It's all on you. And 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 really, what you loved about superheroes? What did you ever love about superheroes? You could have made a kick-ass. You could have made a Let Me In or something. I'm saying Chloe Grace Moritz movies. But, you you know, look at some movie. Remake something. Do, fucking do something that puts you back in the game and gets you going. Because Ben Affleck is fucking making great movies. He's only done like three movies, and all three of them are all better than Chasing Amy and Dogma, my favorite Kevin Smiths, and they're all better. And you're like, how the fuck did Ben Affleck become a better director than Kevin Smith? It's just sad. And people wanted Ben Affleck when there was a time when they hated him because of Jersey Girl and him dating uh, Jennifer Lopez, and they hated him, and you thought he'll never come back. He's back now to the point where Argo has a pretty fucking great chance of being nominated for best picture and winning and i mean what and we're all like well what about kevin smith there was a time when people thought kevin smith wrote goodwill hunting and it was all his script now you wouldn't even believe kevin smith does anything but smoke weed and eat shit come on man i mean fucking find something to do with dc comics they need people and go in there and do something i mean and i say this because i wanted to go and do something with superman and okay, I didn't get I didn't get a chance. Okay, I'm no one. They didn't give a shit. But that doesn't mean I stopped what I call processing, where, where you you kind of like a little dog, you paw at like project, and you think, well, what can we do? I fucking tried to call Matt Tolmac, Matt fucking Tolmac, and Laura Ziskin at one time, God rest her soul, to get a Spider-Man four and an amazing Spider-Man two now. And they've all just fucking pretty much ignored me to the point where it's like, okay, fine, I'm not anybody, you don't have to listen to me, but shit, you got Kevin Smith, you're like, Kevin, use your fucking brain, stop smoking weed, you know, be something out here for us, for us geeks. I mean, I'll feel great knowing, oh, Kevin Smith got his fucking Superman movie finally, and it was a huge success. I felt great for Joss Whedon. I had problems with the Avengers. I wish to God it would have been Serenity that made that kind of money. But, hey, he did great with the Avengers for what he did. And he's going to get to, they liked him so much, they want him back for Avengers too. So a after these two parts here, I'm done, I'm ending. Kevin Smith, come on, man. Get your shit together and stop the weed and the bullshit. Come on, man. I mean, you, you named your daughter Harley. Make a fucking Batman Harley or something. Do something, man. This is, this is just pathetic. My next videos, I'll talk about some other things. Uh, Renan Martinez, I, I usually go by Chris Salvador. 
high atop on my Twitter. So uh, later, guys.